Right, this is my video on carboxylic acids. Carboxylic acids are in topic 7, organic chemistry, and basically we're going to look at the reactions of carboxylic acid and we're going to compare them with hydrochloric acid. So the carboxylic acid I'm going to use is ethanoic acid. So I have three test tubes of that. So, fill in our first one, we only want a small amount, second, and the third one, and then I'm going to have hydrochloric acid. Both acids are one molar, so they're the same concentration. The Try and use the same amount of each, so we can compare the speed of the reactions. So, our first test then is with universal indicator. Now, I'm going to add, with this dropper, a small amount of universal indicator to each of them. So this is the ethanoic acid. If we look at the colour there, then I'm going to do the same with hydrochloric acid. You can see here the hydrochloric acid is much redder. So the ethanoic acid has a pH of about 3 on the scale there, with a the hydrochloric acid with a dark red colour is a pH of 1. So we can say that hydrochloric acid is a much stronger acid than ethanoic acid. In our next reaction, basically what I'm going to use is I'm going to put a piece of magnesium in each. So, and we'll look what happens. So, here's our magnesium going into the ethanoic acid first of all, then into the hydrochloric acid. Leave it just a little bit of time for the reaction to start. So, here's our ethanoic acid, as we can see we're fizzing, and as we know the general reaction, acid plus metal gives you a salt plus hydrogen. So, if we look at the hydrochloric acid, we also see that it's fizzing, because it's the same, same pattern, same generalised reaction. Now, if we compare the two by looking at them, as you can see, the magnesium, sorry, the hydrochloric acid is fizzing much faster than the ethanoic acid. And the reason for that is hydrochloric acid is a stronger acid. And more about that later. Third reaction is with marble chips. I'm going to put a marble chip in each, which is calcium carbonate. And again, we'll look at the reaction. So, first of all, into the ethanoic acid, and then into the hydrochloric acid. So, here we go. The ethanoic acid is bubbling very slowly. And the bubbles which you produce are carbon dioxide. Here if we look at the hydrochloric acid the reaction is much faster, uh, production of carbon dioxide is much stronger, much faster sorry, and it, let's look back at our, hydro, at our ethanoic acid as you can see it's still bubbling very slowly so it's a much weaker acid. Now, the last reaction I want to look at is what we call esterification. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole, to follow all the experiments through, because it will take quite a while. But to make an ester, basically, we need ethanoic acid. And we add to that, then, an alcohol. So I'm going to use ethanol. 
And to that then, I'm going to add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid, which acts as a catalyst. Now, what I would do then normally, I would put this into a water bath, just like this. Put this on top of a Bunsen burner and heat this up for about half an hour. And what I would notice then at the end of the half an hour, I'd have a sweetly smelling ester being formed. Now, as we said, ethanoic acid, which is here, is a weak acid. Now, all acids, as you realise, when they're put into water, they ionise. And this would ionise like this. Now, the only thing about this, the reason why it's a weak acid, is that it recombines, like so. So, that's the reason for why it's much weaker than hydrochloric acid. Now, let's go through the other reactions. We did magnesium with ethanoic acid, and we said that it will form a salt plus hydrogen. Now, the name of the salt comes in the metal, so if we're reacting magnesium with ethanoic acid, the salt will start magnesium. And then from the acid, basically what we do, we take the ick off and add eight. So magnesium ethanoate plus hydrogen. Similarly, with our reaction with calcium carbonate. Again, acid plus carbonate gives you a salt plus carbon dioxide plus water. So our salt this time, because we're using calcium carbonate, will start calcium, that being the metal. Because we're using ethanoic acid, it will be ethanoate again. And then plus carbon dioxide plus water. So, common reaction of an acid. Now, when we're looking at making an ester, the naming of the ester is important. It takes its name, first of all, from the alcohol. So, ethanol, we take the anol off and put EYL on. Ethyl, and then the acid part, as in all of them, becomes this ethanoic acid, becomes ethyl ethanoate, and the other thing we get in here is water, H2O. And again, this is a reversible reaction. Now, well, I've used ethanoic acid, but I could have used propanoic, butanoic, methanoic. They'll do the same reactions because it's the carboxylic acids are homologous series. Okay, that's it, folks.